Hello traders, FS Pepcoletti here. Today is Monday, August 7th, and I'm going to be analyzing the pound yen starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the pound yen monthly, I still believe this uptrend back here is an A. I still think this is three ways down for an A, B, C, or B, and I think we're in a one, two, and we're still in that wave three, which I still don't even see that it's over. I still believe it's going to go up to the 100% Fibonacci extension of wave A, projected out the bottom of what I think is an ABC or B right around the 203 area. So let's take a look at that on the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, we've definitely been going down for the past several weeks, but I still don't see any reason to think this uptrend is over. Maybe on the sort of time frames, we should definitely still be looking for sorts in a downtrend, but I do believe that eventually this is going to end up continuing the uptrend, and it still looks to me like a 1, 2, 3, and that we could possibly you know, be in a wave 4 right now, and that we may go up and make a wave 5 up to the 78% Fibonacci extension, and then I think there's a chance we may end up going down and making a bigger correction. So let's head down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, I still think this is a big wave three right here. I think this has already made an ABC of four. I think we're already going up for wave five, which is probably eventually going to make a one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to the 78% Fibonacci, right around the 186, 17 area, to finish off this uptrend. So that tells me that primarily my main focus is that I'm still looking for longs, but I do realize we are going down right now in a correction, most likely, which will probably end up looking like that. That, so I definitely would be taking advantage of sorts on sort of time frames. Going down to the four hour time frame, I still think this is the end of a big correction. I still believe this first push up is a one, but now I'm seeing this move down as a trend. It actually kind of looks like a wave A or something that may not even be over. It may be making a wave B and then go down again for a C before it ends what I think is an ABC of two and ends up continuing the uptrend at this point, probably at one of these lower Fibonacci's. So I'm looking for sorts right now in a way so like I always say if it does just keep on drifting down that's definitely not going to affect my trading any if I'm wrong about this being a wave two because I'm looking for sorts on sort of time frame so if it just keeps on trending definitely not going to affect my trading at all. Going down to the one hour time frame, I'm definitely still looking for sorts. I would like to see three way pullbacks, which I kind of see a three way pullback already. So if this candle closes impulsive and golfing down, I would actually take that as a sorting opportunity. I believe that we're going to go down to one of these lower fibs, which really it could be any one of them, to possibly finish off with a wave two on the longer time frames. So for now, until we see proof that this wave two is over, I'm definitely doing nothing but looking for sorts in a downtrend. But potentially for the continuation of what is a wave two or possibly the continuation of the downtrend. So we're just going to have to pay attention and see. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.